In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about an app called Skitch, which is part of the Evernote family of apps. So let's get started. Skitch is a, um, I have it under note taking because I use it to take notes. Mostly what I use it for is to um, annotate images, screenshots, and maps. So I'll show you a little bit of that today. So in my Skitch notes, um, I can see the notes that I've already taken and I can choose to add a new note, which is what I'll do now. So I have some options um, as far as what kind of note I would like to add. Uh, for this first demonstration, I will choose a photo from my library. So here's my document with the photo inserted. I do have the ability to change the size of it if I want to. I'm going to leave it, actually make it a little larger. And this is my toolbar at the bottom of the screen. I have several options here. I can draw arrows. I can type right on the image. Um, I can draw shapes. And one of the things that I can do that I'll demonstrate now is I can actually use the blur tool to blur out certain parts of the image. Um, this would be useful if you wanted to um, get rid of logos or faces or something like that if you were going to um, distribute the image. So I'll, I'll demonstrate that now. I've selected the blur tool and I'll just make a selection around someone's face and it blurs that person's face out for me. I'll do it with Steve as well. There we go. I can also write directly on this to annotate it. I'll choose the pen tool to do that and I'll choose black to start with. So you can write with your finger. You can also use a stylus which I like because you have a little bit more control over the, um, the writing if you do that. So let's say I want to say I love this class. That looks pretty good, um, but I think that my color choice was bad. So what I can do is actually select anything that I've written and they select as an object. So I can move this object around, which is pretty neat, and I can also, after the fact, change the color so that I can actually read it on that dark background. I can also uh, type directly on the image if I'd rather do that. And I can change the color of that object as well, as well as the size. I can also move it around. So there are a lot of possibilities as far as annotating photographs. So I'll save that. Because this is integrated with um, Evernote, uh, these notes are saved right into my Evernote notebook, which is really great because everything that I do, um, whether it's annotating photographs or taking traditional notes, are um, in one place. So another thing that I really like about Sketch is that I can draw on a map. So the first thing I'll do is actually just put in an address. Okay, so there's my location. Let me just zoom in. So I want to zoom in uh, close enough so that I can put some directions here. So in order to um, start annotating this map, I just touch snap in the top right. That takes a screenshot for me. And now I can do everything in Sketch um, that I would do to any other photo. So I want to be a little more specific on this map. So the first thing I'll do is I will draw, uh, let's say, I'll draw a blue building to give a little more direction about where I want the person uh, to go. So there's my building. And here at Ohio State, we have parking issues. So it's really important to 
point out uh, the parking possibilities around every building. So I'll switch to my pen tool. I'll even change color. Let's make it hot pink. And I'll just take my finger, or I could use my stylus, and I'll draw a parking lot here. And there's a parking lot here. And I want to annotate that and give some direction. And I can even draw some arrows to give some more direction. Now I like that, so I can share it um, in several different ways. So to do that, I would choose this button. And I can make a public link to this map. Um, I can save it to my camera. I can also email it. So I would just select email. Um, it attaches what I've done as an image. And I can just send that to anyone. Now I'll save that. The last thing I want to show you is annotating a web page with Sketch. So I can take a screen capture from any place on the web. So I'll go to So here's the digital first website and let's say that I want to tell someone about an upcoming workshop. So I want to take a snap of this page. Now here are my tools again, and I just want to be able to send a quick email that points out the location um, of those workshops. So I've uh, chosen the arrow tool and yellow to make it very obvious. I'll just draw an arrow right there. And if I want to be even more clear about it, I can either use a pen tool to circle it, or I can highlight. And that's how you would annotate a web page. I can save that to my uh, notebook or email it, just like I did with the map. Now you can see everything in one place. Um, I can also see these notes from Evernote. So let me go to Evernote real quick. So these are the notes uh, that I've taken um, in various different formats, both in Sketch and directly through Evernote. Um, and then I can organize these in notebooks and in all the ways that you normally would with Evernote. That's a brief overview of the Sketch app. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.